Okay, so let's draw this joker and I think this photo is kind of like a photo but then it's been painted over so I don't know if it's like an original photograph or not. Um, but either way, it um, doesn't really matter, we'll just draw it as it is. And for this drawing, I'm just going to be using my 8B. So it's going to be super soft and I figure I'd try it because I kind of want to draw something quick. And also, it's a joker, it's a little bit messy so maybe I can create some kind of atmosphere with, with, this, um, with an 8B. So that's a little bit messier. Okay, so starting out, I'm just drawing the, uh, the slant of the head. And then, let's see, I'm going to try to fit everything in page. On the paper, I mean. So that's going to be the width of the eye. Okay, so just roughing things out. And then let's keep going. So here's the brow. So this little line here, this little X, really helps. And you should be drawing at least that, um, just to help you guide the, uh, the tilt of the face. Then his nose is going to be, I'm, I'm looking at the angle, the corner of the eye. Coming down, it's going to be somewhere around here. And I'm just measuring angles and plotting something down and then see how that goes. I mean, if, if it's off, you can try to adjust it later. Or, but you kind of have some kind of starting point first. Okay, and let's keep going down and let's see. It's a little misleading because of the paint, so the paint on his face, I mean. Okay, so here's the cheeks, mouth. I think his mouth comes down right around here. That's the corner of the mouth. Yeah, it's kind of a dark photo, so a little bit hard to see. So here's his teeth in here. Here's his lower lip. Okay, so let's go with that. I'm just filling out the sides. So a little round on the side here. The crease. I know it's kind of light right now. I hope you guys can see all this. Forehead goes all the way up. We're not going to see that. It's off my paper. So here's his ear. If you come across from the nose, it's a little bit lower. It's lower than the eye because we're seeing the face kind of like an angle. So the ear is going to be a little bit lower. Okay, and then the hair on the side. Okay, I think we have enough to work from. Hair, hair. Okay. So let's go for it. Uh, start with the eyes. So right in here, it's got a curve. It's a little bit darker. So let's just draw that in first. And this is going to be pretty dark overall. And here's the little blue paint that kind of comes down. So this is going to be pretty dark. Here's the brow. So right now I'm just kind of putting in an overall shading. No value to it. Here's the blue. And it's going to mess. It's going to be messy. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to warning you. And I think it might actually work well for this joker drawing. Okay, so here's the eyeball inside. I'm trying to draw this mainly by shading in the values. It's kind of a neat way to draw. But you kind of have to be accurate and I'm not very accurate, so it could be messy. But you can always take it slow, you know, one step at a time and make it dark later anyway. So, all right, so here's the, uh, the eye socket area. So this is all darker right here. There's a little bit of bounce light, so that's gonna be important. So that's why I'm drawing that first. Just give this one, give it some value first. Okay, 
and then everything else is going to be darker. So let's go with the eyes. I'm pushing in a little bit harder. I really like the way this AP is. So because it is such a soft pencil, you know, don't expect really fine lines. So which is okay. So right here is darker. Eyebrow. I'm going in one direction, trying to follow the direction of the hair. You know, just kind of like hit it hard like this, so that it looks like individual strands. Give us a little bit of movement. And then if you want it darker, you can always come back the other direction and just kind of you know cross hatch a little bit. Okay, so right here is darker. It's the paint. Darker here in the corner. Real dark here. Dark here on the corner. Comes across, and then again, this part's a little bit darker. Okay, and then the creases. Uh, this is important. So, one, two, and this big crease right here. Again, I keep coming back to this because this needs to be very dark. I mean, at least it is very dark in the reference. Okay, and the bounce light right here is going to be really important right here. It's really going to bring out the, the form of the whole eye socket area. Okay, so let's see. Let's keep going. And middle, dark right here. Comes over. Looks like it's almost, looks like it's almost hand drawn, like painted on. It's not a very natural crease right there. Okay, so this part, dark. This part is light. Let's go down to the nose. Um, I mean, I could draw the other eye, but sometimes I get, I've drawn one eye already. I kind of want to draw something else. <laughs> okay, so that's my level of patience. Okay, so here's the nose. Okay, so here's the nostrils. We can see a little bit of it. And then, let's see, this part's going to be red, so it's going to be really dark. Okay, so that's, and then, well, to save some highlights, I'm just going to circle that. Let's make this dark. Then right here is a little bit darker. Don't forget the bounce light, so it's gonna be dark here. It's a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit lighter right here. So there's like a ball right here. Okay, and then the crease right here, dark. This part's a little bit darker. Again, I keep coming back to this. It's, it doesn't look right on the reference. It looks like it's... I think they made it a little bit too dark. Okay, so this is red. So this is going to be dark again. Let's come back into the nose, make it a little bit rounder. Again, down here, this one's going to be dark. It's in the, sh in the shadow. All right, so let's see the mouth. Again, it's very deceiving because of the paint. So here's the bottom. Let's just find the opening first. Okay, the middle teeth. And we don't see the lower teeth, so it's going to be really dark right here. Here's the teeth. The corner of the mouth right there. So it gets darker and darker. Part's pretty dark, and then the lip. Okay, let's let's rough that in. So right here, bottom, this part, dark. It's a highlight right here. Dark on the bottom here. So this overall lip is gonna be pretty dark because it is red. Okay, so let's rough in this part here. So this is red. So this is the paint. Here's the corner crease. So this is going to be dark. 
coming all the way down and then it's gonna go up and there needs to be curvature here you need to follow this because it's going uh, kind of like on the surface of the face and because you have some creases of this ridges here make sure you get some of that or else your face might look a little bit flat okay so coming down so this part right here is gonna be a little bit darker so I'm just gonna give it over another shade Yeah, maybe not enough smile on mine. Dark. Here, dark. So right here is a little bit darker as well. Accentuate the crease. Let's come back up here. So now that I made this darker, um, the eye all of a sudden doesn't look as dark. That's why I'm coming back up and just adding another level. Side of head. Here's the mouth. Again, here's the ear. So my placement's a little bit off. Here's his ear, and I won't for the ear. Um, I generally don't want to put too much emphasis because it is behind. It's not a very important feature, right? Uh, compared to the face. So let's not put too much effort into that for now. And if you make the ear a little bit too prominent here, um, it's actually gonna take away from the face. So it's actually nice to just leave it a little bit softer, off focus. So here's the hair. hair. It's right behind the ear, so it's dark. I'm not sure the I'm not sure the flow of the hair, but I'm just kind of making it up on my own. Kind of hard to see when the reference. Okay, so here's his ear. Let's make that a little bit darker, so it looks like it's behind the face. All right, let's leave that for now, and oh, here's the chin. Okay, yeah, I don't know if it's, it's going to look like him or not, but either way, hopefully it'll be a really cool looking choker. Okay, his mouth is going to be red, so it's going to be, oh, this is going to be red, and this part again needs to be darker now. There's the chin. All right, so let's see, let's... Go back and work on this area now before we go too far on the other details. So here's the hair and the eyebrow. Okay, let's go in and hit the eye. So here's the corner again. It's dark. Eyelid goes round. Let's fold here. I think I'm missing the lightness in the eyes. It doesn't kind of look, it doesn't really look like him. Here's the blue paint coming down. Here's the crease, let's, let's rough that in. Here's the corner of the mouth again. Very hard to see. Dark, darker in the shade. Here's the blue paint, and again it's darker here, darker here as well. Here's the cheek, this, this bulges out, that's why it's darker up here. Okay. So let's see. Something I wish I could put my head over this drawing. I can't because the camera's right there. Okay. Eyes. Dark. 
screen my eyes a little bit so I can see the values a little bit better. So this needs to be a little bit darker. Okay, so let's fill out some of the cheek area right here. This goes out. This is darker here. Here's the face. Let's just round it out. This part's darker. And the red paint and kind of hard to see so I'm gonna have to make it a little bit darker here so that we can distinguish the paint on his face and I told you, yeah I told you this was gonna be a bit messy right <laughs> because red in uh, black and white is almost pitch black so that's why it needs to be really dark So the lip area right here, this needs to be really dark, at least the paint part. So now that this is darker, the inside of the mouth all of a sudden needs to be even darker. So I'm really pushing hard into this. But it's okay. See, this is kind of like the fun part because now you can really bring out the, the shape. And now I'm looks like it's really messy but it's actually somewhat calculated right so I'm hitting some areas just to bring it out more so it's actually kind of fun because now you can it's like after all those little shading you can actually find it see you know, see that shapes really form Okay, so now the nose is not dark enough, right? Because this is red paint and that's red. So this is gonna be a little bit darker. Actually lose some of the lighting here. Okay, so underneath the nose, dark. There's a shadow coming down. Crease, darker, darker. here so this is round here so it's coming lights falling off in here all right sorry about that uh, this quick jump uh, in the video because I didn't realize the uh, camera was off as I was sketching and because it kind of ran out of uh, a space on, on my card so um, yeah, basically I think I left off uh, doing another pass on the face and I made everything a little bit darker and also the neck area. I mean, nothing uh, too important and I also added some of these details. So overall, I just kind of continue working on uh, kind of the same flow, um, just adding another pass. So hopefully let, let's just keep going and I'll check the camera once in a while to make sure that it doesn't go off <laughs> for whatever reason. Okay, so let's see. Let's make this a little bit darker. Eyes. So I think I kind of missed the lightness of this. I mean, it looks like the Joker, but it doesn't look, doesn't look like a uh, Joaquin Phoenix here. Dark. So I'm really pushing in. It's darker here. Slightly darker here. So this is light right here because of the bounce lighting. Lines. Let's make this darker. I mean, judging from the reference, the eyes is really dark, but I'm kind of hesitant to making it too dark. Dark. So at, at this point, I'm just 
going through and kind of see whatever I can find. Just kind of refining things. Because at this point, you really can't change the, the lightness of your drawing that much anymore. And I don't want to erase. <laughs> It'll be a real mess anyways. Let's pop that out a little bit more. So turning my edge, turning on pencil edge to get a real nice sharp edge. That way you can just kind of push it in. Okay, let's see. Let's try to get the eyebrow a little bit more if I can. Just kind of really get into it. So you do little dabs like this, sometimes it helps to add detail, even though it's a mess. But if you have like some small details, it just kind of force the eye that it's more complicated than it is. Dark. Kind of missed the highlight here. Maybe I can bring it back on the nose. This is kind of important. So I'll try to dab it out. If I make this dark, this will automatically. Uh, automatically look a little bit lighter. I think I'm about done with this thing. Yeah, too bad it doesn't look like I'm kind of like the shading on this. Okay, so I think that's about it. I mean, there's not much more I can do other than you know start putting in more details and really go in and you know find little things like these little creases here and really go in there and try to try to bring that stuff out. So if you're drawing this, you know it's it's all up to you how much how much details you want to push. All right, so I might work on it some more, uh, you know, put my head over it. But I think overall, yeah, that's going to be it for this joker. So hope you guys like this, and uh, I don't know what to draw next. Maybe the uh, Pennywise or something like that, since the movie's coming out. But we'll see. Um, or if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know in the uh, comments below. And yeah, check out my other drawing videos, and we'll hope to uh, be drawn again soon, and I will see you next time.